Ultraviolet radiation is a form of non-ionizing radiation that is emitted by the sun and artificial sources, such as tanning beds. UV radiation has some benefits, for example it stimulates production of vitamin D. But it has some serious health risks also. For example, premature aging and skin cancer are side effects of prolonged UV exposure. Short-term overexposure side effect is sunburn, damaged skin by Sunday. UV exposure increases the risk of potentially blinding eye diseases, if eye protection is not used. Overexposure to UV radiation can lead to serious health issues, including cancer. Skin cancer is the most common cancer in the United States. Most cases of melanoma, the deadliest kind of skin cancer, are caused by exposure to UV radiation. UV radiation is classified into three primary types, ultraviolet A, UVA, ultraviolet B, UVB, and ultraviolet C, UVC. Three of them can cause cancer, but UVC is not problem because it is absorbed by ozone layer. Big part of UVB radiation is also absorbed by the Earth's ozone layer. Even though UVA radiation is weaker than UVB, it penetrates deeper into the skin and is more constant throughout the year. Beneficial effects of UV radiation include the production of vitamin D, a vitamin essential to human health. Vitamin D helps the body absorb calcium and phosphorus from food and assists bone development. The World Health Organization, WHO, recommends 5 to 15 minutes of sun exposure 2 to 3 times a week. Protection from UV radiation. Stay in the shade, especially during midday hours. Wear clothes that cover your arms and legs. Wear a wide brim hat to shade your face, head, ears, and neck. Wear wraparound sunglasses that block both UVA and UVB rays. Use sunscreen with sun protection factor, SPF, 15 or higher, for both UVA and UVB protection. Don't forget to put a thick layer on all exposed skin. Get help for hard-to-reach places like your back. And remember, sunscreen works best when combined with other options. Sunscreen is not recommended for babies who are 6 months old or younger. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration recommends keeping infants out of the sun during midday and using protective clothing if they have to be in the sun. SPF. Sunscreens are assigned a sun protection factor, SPF, which is a number that rates how well they block UV rays. Higher numbers indicate more protection. You should use a broad-spectrum sunscreen with SPF of 15 or higher. Avoid indoor tanning. Indoor tanning is particularly dangerous for younger users, people who begin indoor tanning during adolescence or early adulthood have a higher risk of developing melanoma. Risk factors for skin cancer. Anyone can get skin cancer, but is more common in people who spend a lot of time in the sun or have been sunburned. Have light color skin, hair, and eyes. Have a family member with skin cancer. Are over age 50.